Would you mind explaining a little bit about the uniqueness of man and the difference between man and animals and what makes man so special? So of course we could start off with the uniqueness of humankind by thinking about it just in terms of our physical bodies. So there's something unique about the way we're structured, the way we're crafted. Our feet are uniquely human and with our feet there's an arch that goes from the toe to the heel and there's another arch that goes from the big toe to the little toe. So there's two arches that makes our foot like a cup so that every time we take a step it's like a little spring and that spring action propels us forward and that's why humans run marathons and animals don't. So we can think ahead and make plans and train for a marathon and only humans do that. So that's just some physical stuff but really the, the real difference is immaterial or, or metaphysical I would think. So the reason that when you steal my stereo I get all bent out of shape about it is because I know that you have violated, sorry you have to steal my stereo for this conversation, but this is where we are. You stole my stereo, I don't feel happy about it. Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel like something's been violated? Well it has to be because I have a code, an ethical law, code written into my, into my personhood. So when something happens against me, I react as though something's universally, objectively wrong with what just happened. Of course animals have, you know, feelings and they have like a soul, I guess you could call it. You know, they have instincts, a galore. But there's uniqueness about the humans where we have laws and we know when we've done wrong. And we know when we're wronged. And we have relational breaking. We have broken relationships when we get wronged or when someone wrongs against us. It's the same thing when we break our relationship between us and God because of us doing wrong. And so all of these relational aspects are uniquely human and it's good to think about because the creator of the animals and man, he wants relationship with us and he's done everything required for us to have that relationship mended. So he took our sins and put them on his own son so that they're taken care of so that we can go back to him and be reunited with the God who created us and know him forever.